interface, it's a software. Or maybe maybe in a good way, right? Because maybe if you have some command line software, you still have things like this directory, right? But this is uh, after two days of thinking, I can go this level of detail. Right? Okay, so take this kind of software, and then let's say, and then let's say techniques uh, which are, let's say, scenes, right? The simulations of something which was previously existed. And of course, as we discussed yesterday, uh, for whatever reasons, we will talk about the reasons today that people have simulated uh, or transferred the techniques available to the computer computer and we can have them. So the techniques of that also become new. And then let's say the techniques which are, you can say, kind of, well, I can't spell this, so let's say, unique. I was trying to spell it genuinely, but it's too much. Okay, unique. Cool. So, so. so that's one way to slice it, right? And then a different way to slice it is to say, well, we have some techniques which are, which is a different way to classify it, right? We're slicing the same, the same, the same set. Techniques which are, let's say, media right? independent, or rather, very media agnostic, right? Media, media agnostic. So you can use them on images, <coughs> and, uh, TV models, and maps, and text and sound. software was not, did not really exist yet, right? 
except for particular scientific industrial labs. Uh, so, you know, basically, you only can be art from and again, the visual art of the that you know, the 60s, 58, right? So about 1980s was regenerated, right? So it was lots of abstract compositions, generative algorithms. And then, of course, in, in this decade, right, this kind of generative art is given a new boost, it's reborn because of development of uh, special, right, kind of like high, very high level languages like processing uh, and so on and so forth. Okay? So, uh, any questions here, please? Yeah. I mean, when I, when I move, so when I move, I just slice it, but this is probably enough for some depth to do. Right? <laughs> I just don't understand that the, uh, so generative is stuff that you can do at home alone, or... Uh, no, uh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Well, I don't understand okay. the distinction. Okay. What about, like, synthesis? Like, just creating something yes. from nothing? Yes, yes, exactly. That's it. That's it. Okay. It's creating, it's, that's, that's yeah, creating, yeah, it's creating that's something generative. from nothing, right? In other words, you have a computer program, and somehow this computer program, okay, okay, yes, you give it some parameters, yeah. but you don't start with an image, a map, a text, right? You know, the computer uses some kind of process, some kind of algorithm, right, to generate a sine wave, to make a, to make like a three D model, right, uh, to maybe write to maybe write some poetry, and of course, of course, you can always find lots of examples which in the middle, right? But I do think that by and large. This is a pretty useful way to okay, process slice it. Processing already existing material yes, and yes, and yes, 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 yes. Synthesis is a better actually, word to use. I always disagree. I think okay. that generative is actually just a special set of uh, processing in that what has happened is instead of the input processing output model, you simply virtualized your input. How so? How it's, you pre-program the processing engine to generate its own input. So you can say, I will generate random numbers based on the date or something. And so yeah, well, you, you press the button, you turn it on. There's technically no input other than putting into an on state. Mm -hmm. And then it looks to it looks at the computer's date, generates this random data. So so what it is is the the input, yes. which is the yes. numbers that it needs to process, are virtualized. They're, they're kept in a uh, state of uh, Imminence, and uh, and it's all inside the uh, the computer program itself. Yeah. So in this case, so in that way, generative art is actually a subset. There there is only input processing output. It's just that there are subsets of that model. Well, this is I think uh, I hope we have heated debates about it because that's I think this is like I mean every time I talk about it, like I think when I'm digital artists, people are very, very excited about this question. So, well, okay, so this is, I think it's very, I mean, I think it's, I can, I'm sure I can write an article to support your point, but I can also write an article to, I mean, to go against it. But you know what? No, let me just give you my reason. But I, I you are, you're actually absolutely right. You're absolutely right. I think I know what you're, you're talking about. Okay, sorry. In okay. generative art, that's another, he's not talking about generative art. He's just using the word generative in this model. Well, generative art is a particular, you know, it's one of the ways in which this capacity manifests itself today, right, in culture. There is a good distinction in terms of sounds, um, for instance, in processing, for processing, as you are using it in, in this uh, context, we could use the term sampling, and for generative, we can use the synthesis, because sam in sampling, you, you are getting yourself a library from the existing materials, and you deal with them, and so you have samples. Or so it's, it's, like ESP. ESP. it's ESP and, syn and synthesis because anyway, it's processing. Once you have something, then you can process it. But if you so the question is the input stage. Input, which yes. is, and which I understand your, your argument, but I think that if you if you if you may be conflating like two uses of the word generative, yeah, there's like there's he's using generative in a, in a kind of way that's more akin to to synthesis and speaking of sound. But see, the problem is that he's it, it's like the I mean. We're trying to talk, use this as a framework to talk about something else mm -hmm. and like just kind of set up a framework. Mm -hmm. And it, to me, it just seems that it's very simply like, you know, the things that you, where you start with something that comes from the world or you start from something that the machine create, that you create inside of the machine. And you can make like a kind of existential argument that like everything 